What's going on guys? Johnny with Blades of Grass Long Care and today we're gonna do a 50 hour review on the Toro Revolution Grandstand. Enjoy! This mower was developed by Toro and it has an industry leading hypercell battery which delivers superior power and devours lush lawns all day long without bogging down. And like I said before, 50 hours worth of properties that I've done with it, I can attest to this statement. So the deck guys is the same deck that you will find in your grandstand mowers which is your turbo force deck. This one is a 48 inch deck that you've seen on the regular gas mower grandstand. Now, the difference between this one and your regular grandstand is that instead of spindles, you have individual motors. One there, one in the middle, and one right there. So if anything happens to the motor, all you have to do is change out the individual motor. So this Total Revolution grandstand comes with a five year, 1200 hours, or a two year, no hour limit warranty. Okay, so if something were to happen to it, all you have to do is take it over to your dealer and they will take care of the repairs. All right guys, so some of the specifications to this mower is the battery capacity is 18.4 kilowatt hours. The battery charge time is 14 hours. Now that is if you deplete the battery completely. Okay, so if you don't deplete it all the way down, it doesn't take 14 hours to uh, charge the battery. There are total hypercells and the runtime is between 4.5 hours and seven hours plus of runtime. Again, it depends on what you're cutting, what type of grass you're cutting, how high the grass is, et cetera, et cetera, right? Charge type is 1.2 kilowatt, which is 112 volt. And again, like I said before, is a 122 centimeters. The deck is a 48 inch deck, which is the Turbo Force deck and it's a seven gauge steel deck. The tires are 20 inches by 10 inches. It goes uh, all the way up to 10 miles per hour. And I've cut at 10 miles per hour, guys, to be honest with you, and just to test it out. And again, it is doing an exceptional job. Now, keeping in mind that I am mowing Southern Turf, which is Bermuda, Centipede, Zoja, and just, you know, regular weeds and grass. And all my properties are bi-weekly, spring through mid-May, and then they become weeklies until September. And then after September, uh, they become bi-weekly until mid-November, and then they become monthly or as needed throughout the winter. So I mow year round, including leaf cleanups, which, you know, this, this is gonna be the first time that I should do a leaf cleanup with this mower. But again, I don't have a lot of leaf cleanups. And for you guys that ask, I do not do overgrown properties, okay? That's not what we do. Now, uh, the way it works is I would subcontract my overgrown properties and once, you know, whoever actually does them for me will come back uh, and clean up the property, then I will take over the property. That's just my thing, guys. I don't believe in putting my mowers on overgrown properties. You know, you have the tendency to hit stumps, bricks, and other debris. And that's, I'm to the point in my business where I don't need to be doing that. Now, one thing that I love about Stand On, guys, is that you can actually just walk behind the mower you know if you have hills or whatever the case might be you can just walk directly behind the mower or you can ride it just by and i will do this with one hand just by bringing this down and then you can stand on the mower
this mower can mow from 1.5 inches all the way up to 5 inches and um, it is really really easy to bring up and down the deck it's pretty easy you just hold it bring it down and bring it back up okay and it locks in place now I have a green guard shoot blocker on mine. And again, I'll leave a link in the video description. And basically is an electronic shoot blocker, which closes and opens with the touch of a button. Okay. And the way I have mine connected is I have an additional battery here that I charge whenever it depletes and that's probably like every two weeks. And as you can tell, it isn't, it's not interfering with anything uh, electronic with the mower. So you can also put a manual shoot blocker on this mower if you would like to. Now Toro will come up with a mulching kit eventually, but right now they don't have a specific mulching kit for this yeah, mower. So hopefully you can see where this turns your light on and off and here are your lights and this is your PTO switch and right here guys it tells you your battery power so right now I'm full and then you hit the menu right here and it tells you how many hours I have 52.7 hours that I've used this uh, mower and then it tells you the speed I mean the uh, uh, all the blades that are working once the mower is on it shows you this all the way up and the blades are actually working so if for any reason one of the mowers the motor go go out then you can basically see right here it'll tell you and also your traction as far as how fast you're going you can always bring the speed down to the turtle or you can bring it up to the rabbit and here you can control how fast your blades are going. You can bring it all the way down if you want to, and you can bring them all the way up as needed. And then we're back. And again, in between there, guys, it tells you, you know, you have other features where you can, it tells you uh, whatever is wrong with the mower, whatever is going on with the mower, how many power is left, all of that good stuff, okay? This is your main power on and off. This is off. So when this is off, there's no power to the machine. It means that it's cutting the power off from the battery to any component within the machine. You turn it on and now the machine is uh, operable. Now, this is your charger and what you do is you plug this in into your regular you know 110 outlet and then this portion right here goes in here and you can charge your mower and here it'll tell you exactly uh, how many hours you have left uh, to charge your mower or whatever the case might be and for you guys that want to know, um, I personally get 65 cuts per charge. So I mow 65 properties before having to recharge my mower. Now I can definitely go a little bit more, but I go until my power have one click and then I stop and then I, I charge my mower. So I charge my mower once a week and the cost is $1.47 in Georgia. Uh, right now we're paying I want to say and it's hot we're paying 22 cents per kilo kilowatt hour so yeah i'm paying a dollar 47 to charge my mower once a week all right guys so let's talk about the pro that i found owning this mower pro number one is that once i charge it i don't have to worry about the charge for the rest of the week i don't have to pay fuel for this mower i don't have to pay any maintenance for the mower i don't have to pay for oil changes filter change anything zero maintenance 
zero slash none. All I do is plug this mower in and that's it. Now Toro has a cost calculator on their website. So I'll leave a link in this video description so you can go check it out. Plug in your own numbers guys and see if this mower is something that you know will be beneficial to your business. Now I'm not here to sell you this mower. All I'm giving you is my review on owning this mower for the past 50 hours. Another pro with owning this mower is that the mower is quiet and the only thing that you hear when you turn it on is the actual blade spinning and the blades make a lot more noise when they are on the cement than when you put them on the grass surface. So it is very quiet so I can start properties earlier in the morning whereas if I have a gas powered mower I have to wait until a certain time of the day okay one thing guys that you can also consider is the rake of the mower you can adjust right now i have it level but you can bring it up let's say if you're mulching uh, or you're going in into tall grass all you have to do is bring up the rake and what happens is you know some of the debris will be coming from the from the back and it makes it a lot easier on the mower and a lot easier on your battery consumption i had one time where I stopped the engine because I was mowing super tall, thick, wet crabgrass. So what I did was bring up the rake to 0.5, I think either that or 1.25 and everything was good to go. So yes, the rake comes in very handy if you wanna save on your uh, battery time. All right guys, so let me talk about what I don't like about the mower. I'm sure that these are things that we can fix. Well, when I say we, I'm talking about Toro can fix with some software upgrade, but here we go. One thing that I don't like about this mower is that, okay, so on conventional mowers, when you're backing up, the speed is let's say 10 miles an hour, you move it, you know, you move it at 10, whatever case might be, but when you're backing up, it, the mower automatically slows down and you can go like, I wanna say four miles per hour is the highest that you can go backing up. With this mower, you have the same fast speed backing up as in going forward. So therefore, you have to be very conscious of when you're backing up, you have to slow down and be very conscious to slow it down when you're backing up. Uh, so what I would say to Toro is if we can come up with, I keep saying we, if they can come up with a software, software update where you can minimize the speed backing up and just leave the speed moving forward faster, that would greatly, greatly improve uh, for the first time user. And I hope it makes sense because we are so used to jumping on the mower, we're going fast, the moment you bring it back, the mower automatically slows down and back it up and then you go faster. But with this one, it's the same speed going back and forth. So you have to be very conscious of what you're doing or else you'll fall off the mower. But again, I think that Toro can definitely um, do that with a software update. So that's something that I'm going to let them know. Okay, another thing that I found that I don't like about this mower is that the left handle usually on on conventional mowers the left handle doesn't have a lot to do so with this one you have to bring both handles in at the same time and then start your mower but if you let go of this one the pto will shut down see what i'm saying so maybe take away the pto off the right side i mean the left side which will you know make it just just like the uh regular mower all right guys so i know this is going a little bit further but you know I, I, it's about to be over here in a few minutes now one cosmetic thing that toro is going to have to work on is you see this cover right here i don't know if you can see it but because of the heat i'm in i'm in the south i'm in georgia so it kind of collapsed just a little bit because it is freaking hot so this right here, it used to be nice and level, but now it collapsed because it is hot. Now, is that intruding into the way the mower is working? No, I've had no problems. This mower starting working 
whatever the case might be, in the heat, rain, and no other temperature. The mower has been working fine. Therefore, I am very, very excited as far as the feel. It feels good. Uh, it cuts right. It works for my business, okay? So again, guys, just keep in mind, I mow right now weekly uh, property, so I'm not mowing overgrown grass, um, all that good stuff. So, hey, Johnny, let me see you uh, put that on an overgrown property. It's not gonna happen, sorry, not my thing. Uh, so, yeah. Guys, when it comes to the blade, this is your regular blade and this is your mulching blade. Those are the two blades that I've actually uh, gotten from Toro. So these are the two that I know that they have right now. All right, guys, it's getting hot. You see me? I am sweating. <laughs> But guys, this is it. This is my 50 hour review on the Toro Revolution Grandstand. Please leave your comment, your questions in the comment section below. And if I can't answer the question, I will ask someone from Toro to answer your question. Now, I will say this before I leave. My job is not to convince you on battery products because again, I am about technology I have gas powered and I have battery products as well. Uh, I own stocks in technology companies and also petroleum companies, okay? So to me, either either, it makes no difference to me, but somebody have to show you this equipment, somebody have to tell you the real deal about it, and if you have any questions as far as the quality of cuts, guys, I have thousands of videos on my YouTube channel, video library, please take your time Go check them out. I'm not gonna sit here and debate with you in regards to fossil versus battery, where you gonna throw them away, where you gonna recycle. That's not my video, okay? That's not what I'm about. So if you put in the comment section, guys, you're kind of wasting your time because I'm not gonna entertain that, okay? I'm here to show you what's available. Guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Like, share, follow, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.